problem we're having at the moment with um, various clients, whether they, they be hotels, hospitals, uh, banks, uh, trading floors and big server rooms, is cabling and particular use of PU phones. These are PU phones, these things here. Uh, some of these will claim to be fire rated, either surface spread of flame class O or class 1, or they may claim to have 240 minutes or thereabouts of true fire integrity value. Um, the surface spread of flame phones are not suitable at all for fire stopping and giving you your 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 240 minutes of um, integrity into a fire break wall or compartment. Um, the other phones are not suitable at all. There's nothing wrong with the phones per se, it's the misuse of the phones by the guys using them. Um, most people don't read the labels and don't read how the phones should be used appropriately. Um, this particular phone is fire rated for 240 minutes. It, if you read the label and the data on the back, and there's a data sheet to go with this which gives you the test evidence for how this was tested um, to prove that it will give you 240 minutes. This can be used for 15 millimeter wide hole to adapt to 220 millimeters, but it can only be used in concrete or block wall work and it cannot be used with any other services that would invalidate the test evidence that's already here and you'd have to go for a retest. If PU foams have been used up to 15 millimeters, they need to be cut back to a depth of 20 to 25 mil and overfilled with a suitable intermittent mastic. If however PU foams have been used with either multiple cables or plastic pipes, they should be cut back altogether and removed and intermittent mastic used up to 25 millimeters on the cabling and up to 40 millimetres on the plastic pipes. Above this, plastic pipes should have a suitable intermittent collar fitted. The other thing to consider about foams is they're quite aggressive materials and they'll potentially damage some of the data cable in particular, um, often used in server rooms, etc. Um, we come across many instances where these foams have been sprayed on cable trays or into penetrations and they've actually affected the integrity of the cable. Cables, general communication cables, relatively fragile. The foams can affect the dialectic constant of the cabling, so they can burn the top of the cabling and they can affect the ability of that cabling to transfer data and communications along them. So recently we completed a major bank in Canary Wharf and we had to get um, validation from our suppliers that the products we used would not affect the integrity of that cable and have an impact on their banking business. Obviously these PU phones wouldn't achieve that and we can't give that form of guarantee based on use of these things. However, there are many alternatives and Marvel will just talk about those. Some of the alternatives are CP606 Mastic, CP611A High Pressure Exerting Mastic, CP601S Silicone, CP643 Collar, CP648 Wrap, CP651 Pillow, CP670 Bat, CP660 high pressure exerting foam. What you do have to bear in mind is the specification data and how it's supposed to be installed to the manufacturer's spec. Installed wrongly, it will fail. And basically, you cannot get your maintenance men or unskilled laborers to fit these systems without the proper knowledge because we only get one chance to do it right. So the important thing here is that we use certifier approved product that's got test evidence and data to go with it. It's got ideally got some design modules and is then installed by a third party approved organisation such as ourselves, which is an ideally fire ass contractor or an LPCB contractor, um, which will then give you traceability and test evidence, data, login, etc. to actually back up the installation.